Australia. It's a white bottle. And this is the maximum price for tonight's sh um, for the show is actually ten ninety five. So I will open it and dip let it uh, while I tell you about the show. The show is on at every uh, week at eight pm on Facebook Live, and I also broadcast on Twitch right now. And if you um, want to leave like comment to get the show, just let me know. And today this is the dress what we made last week. So this was a T-shirt, and we add a. Um, a skirt onto this and today I'm gonna add a color and make it into a very um, uh, more elaborate so I'm thinking of doing like a uh, fantasy color on uh, the show and so before we do that we're gonna pour ourselves a glass of wine hope you stay warm in Toronto we have in a snowstorm uh, about 10 centimeters so if you live in uh, a warm climate I see some people from, um, let me see. So we have some people from Asia. So about 10 centimeters, about from here to here, it could go as high as that, right? So this is a, um, a Chardonnay. It has a really nice color to it. It is not too citrusy. Mm, it's smooth and velvety. Um, I actually like it. So, and I will tell you the, the taste of it on uh, a little bit more as we uh, continue. And just gonna repeat, right? Now, if you haven't watched my show before, the show is on, um, so I'm drinking a $10 uh, dollar bottle of wine. And then we uh, basically blind taste it and then I tell you whether I like it or not. And while I'm doing that, I will also um, create a dress. And every time I mention the word wine, or I'm drinking the wine, you have to also take a sip. So if you don't have any wine next to you, or go and make yourself a drink. And we just sit back and enjoy a show. All right. So thank you, jean Pierre, for pointing the upside down thing. I have no idea how that happened, but um, all right, so. What I'm thinking is, I'm going to do a color of the same uh, style or thinking of continuing with the white um, trimming. So I'm just going to take a piece of fabric. So this is just a scrap I have. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to basically add a color onto this dress. So if you don't have anything at home, you can just use the leftover from your um, scarf, right? So I'm just using scrap and cheer. Mm, I actually really like this wine. It's a have a nice smooth take washing down and very uh, gently. It's um, it have a nice after taste, and I haven't figured out what it is yet. So. As we drink, I can either get drunk and I tell you what it is, or I just come up with uh, some brutal imaginary word and describe the wine. <laughs> so feel free to leave me a message and I will uh, answer them because I actually set up the computer today to see how it looks. And if on Twist, this is my first show, so feel free to comment me anytime. So let me see. So, huh, thank you, press. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn this around. So, this is the center of the piece of fabric. And so, I'm gonna line it up along the edge of the back. So, the center of the piece of clothing, uh, of the t shirt. And I'm just gonna continue with the safety pin. And I'm just gonna pin it down. Okay? So, we can also use glue gun if you like. But I'm just gonna continue with the uh, pin. So what I'm think I'm doing is is about one inches away from the edge of the uh, collar. So I'm gonna pinch that down again along the shoulder seam, and I actually like the wine, so I'm gonna have another sip. So I hope you already pour yourself something to drink, and let's drink along.
All right. Now, and let's do the other side. So, line it about one inches, and don't pin yourself, and I'm just gonna pin it down. So if you don't know how to sew, which most of, a lot of people don't, this show is actually for you because I'm gonna make it simple, and you can unpin it and wash your clothes, or you can just keep it as is. So I'm gonna go all the way to about two thirds of the front of the collar. Because what I'm thinking, I'm going to cut it down from here. So I'm going to stop at the two-thirds of the front. And make sure that the fabric stays together on the edge. And we pin this down here as well. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. So as you can see, it's... Something is happening, but we're not sure. So make sure you use the same size of safety pin for both. And if you like, you can add more uh, safety pin in between. So I am not going to do that because we are limited on time. Alright, so now, so we kind of have a color. And, well, for all that hard work, let's train up. Mm. It filled the mouth really nicely, the aroma. And I like the um, the slight bitter berry taste. I, oh my god, I finally taste the berry in the wine. Wow. <laughs> if you watched my last show, I told you that I never actually taste berry. And I always read it in the uh, description. And I always thought it was um, hope and a bullshit, to be honest. But um, it actually that berry in this thing. Very cool. So let me just click on the, sh the video page so I can see who coming on or not. All right. So now that we have a color and I'm thinking I'm gonna open this up or maybe make it into a flower. So let's make it into a flower. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin this down. I'm gonna do sideways so you can see it. So on the edge, I'm gonna pin it down, pull the edge back, right? And from here, I'm just gonna, this thing keep getting shorter. <laughs> so you see that we have a flower. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to zigzag the safety pin through the fabric all the way down. So you have, see that? So it opened it up. So we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So we have a, so if you want to do about every centimeter or so. So, so I'm just basically go back and forth like so. And so you kind of have a pleat, right? And from here, what I'm thinking is I need a drink. Cheer. Mm. All right. So now from here, I'm just gonna turn this back like so. So from here, so we have a folded piece and then we're just gonna flip it into half, right? And then you're gonna tuck the edge inside and then we're gonna glue it down into a flower. So this is a clue gun is, is ready. So I'm going to put some glue down in the center and then tuck the edge in, tuck the edge in, and we kind of have a flower. Do you see that? Okay. 
So from here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to flip this back into half. Right? And then we're going to do a little bit of glue gun on end to glue down the edge. And then I'm going to add a little more glue gun into the other edge. And well, we have a little flower. And we're running out of ammunition, so we're going to add a little more glue. So this kind of looked like what the hell he tried to do, right? Well, I kind of have a plan. So it depends how I'm not drunk by the end of the show. <laughs> All right, so from here, I'm gonna make sure the color is just gonna go back. So I'm doing the same thing, is run the safety pin throughout the whole entire color. So we do one centimeter through their fabric. So I didn't really have this any plan I was going to do. All I want to know is I want to do something interesting to do color. So this is what I came up with just now. So hopefully it turned out okay. Uh, so far, if you want to see my past episode, is the link on my website. I have the um, the time lapse version on my page of uh, Adam uh, Quang at Happiness Architecture, and you can see the time lapse, and you can get the link to my website, and you see the video and the information of the wine and the product the ID if you need. Okay, so we have this. And I'm thinking, so from here, I'm going to cut down the center seam. So cherry one. So I'm going to cut straight down to the center. So seam, this is kind of like our date dress. Yeah, just go a little cleavage. So you can go a little bit lower if you like. And from here, so we have two roses on both sides and we're gonna add more flower to it. Okay, so that's quite simple enough, right? So we do one safety pin here on the center, on the collar, um, on the shoulder blades, and then two third into the uh, center to turn into the center. So we have about five safety pins all together. And we just basically turn in this back and we create a little rose flower from the fabric. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add more flower. So I pre-cut some shopping bag into the little pieces like so. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I did it before because Because we need quite a lot of them and we are limited on time so I cut some before but I will show you how to do it now. Right? So I just have a shopping bag so I'm gonna cut the base off quickly. Just straight across so it flattened down the whole entire bag. See that? And I need more so you want to make sure you have three different sizes of square. So like so, so I'm just gonna show you. So I have the tiny one, the large size, and another large size. And you can do three size, four size, five size, whatever you would like. So I'm just gonna fold this in half. 
and then I'm gonna fold it in. So we have half, and then we're gonna have half again. So we have this, right? And then from here, I can do, I'm just gonna, if it's too thick, we can't really do anything. So I'm just gonna cut half of it right now. And then from here, I'm gonna fold this into half again. And then I'm gonna fold this into a quarter. And then I'm gonna fold this into a, a 45 degree angle. And if you can, you fold it again. So basically you fold it into a square. And then I'm just gonna cut the edge up. And now I'm gonna open it up and I have kind of a ground piece of plastic, right? So I'm gonna do the other side. So, so to show you properly again, so we're gonna have a square piece, right? Square. And from here, we're gonna fold it in half. And are you guys drinking wine? Mm, so delicious. So this have a really beautiful color. It leaves a really nice taste, aftertaste. It's not acidy. I don't like dry wine. So this is smooth. So I guess the sugar contest this could be medium. Uh, it's not sweet, so I don't think it's gonna be a high sugar contest. Oh, so let's start again. So square, fold it in half, fold it again in a quarter, and then fold it again into a triangle and then we fold it again so just edge to edge to edge and then from here i'm just gonna cut off the edge one and i'm gonna cut off the edge twice so to have a pointy in the center and i open up again and i have something like this okay so i make a whole bunch of different sizes i make four sizes earlier right and we're gonna do that and we're gonna add flour all around here and bring it down and to make into a fancy little thing. So I'm gonna start with the center back with a very big piece. So this, you see, it doesn't have to be perfect and it look kind of funny. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a glue gun, a drop in the center and it kind of melt and wiggle everything. And then from there, I add it right in the center of the back. So, and then the second size down, I do the same thing. Since we already have a little bit of glue, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna fold it from the center and I'm just gonna stuff it right in. Right? And then Make sure it's open, right? So from here, so make sure it kind of like we go, it's not completely open up. And then I'm going to take another size piece. And then I'm going to fold it in to, to kind of sp sponge it. And then put it in right in the center. So I got a little flour. See that? All right. So what are we drinking tonight? Mmm, wonderful. So cherry one. So the whole idea behind the show is I have, I drink wine and some people, uh, some of friends didn't believe they're a good quality of wine. And I found a bottle uh, at the party that somebody brought and actually win some international award and it end up it end up to be eight dollar and I thought that was amazing and so I did it, um, a show on this bottle I think two weeks ago if you go on the website you can see the detail of it and so um, so I've been um, researching and asking for a lot of different uh, people opinion on um, good quality wine which is um, inexpensive so cheer
All right, so I have that. So I'm gonna do another one on the middle side. So I'm not gonna take the big side. Just gonna take the, the little side. And bundle it up with the glue in the center. It's it a little bit hot and it kind of melt the plastic. So, and then I'm just gonna go here. See that? Right in. Open up. Make sure it stay. So you see it kind of add a little three dimensional. And I'm gonna add another size to it. One or two pieces, it's up to you. So the more layer, the more interesting the flower piece becomes. And send the glue in there, I'm just gonna stop right in. There. And then we're gonna add a little bit more. You can open that up. And I add one more piece, so basically the same size. So I'm just gonna crunch it. And put a drop of glue in. If you're unsure about this, you can also test dry it out first before you do it. So there you go. So we have another flower. We're just gonna do a big flower on the top. So what my idea is, if the big flower slowly melt down into the small piece, right? So, and we kind of swing it. We don't really have a plan when we do all this. Well, I don't anyway, so. If you have a plan, uh, and feel free to go ahead and tell me what it is. I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time, but I think it usually turned out pretty good Okay And because of the shoulder I want it to be Exaggerated So I'm gonna add another big piece on the shoulder Put some glue in Here and this is a shopping bag. So the material I use is basically stuff I found around the house. That kind of look cool, right? And now I'm gonna do one side down. So I'm gonna pick the smallest piece of paper. And then I'm gonna add it. So put the glue right in the center. Add a flower. And then bundle this up. So you can have some kind of cool high fashion ish. Well, we try. Now, make sure things look better when it's symmetry, uh, when we do pattern, unless it's intentional. So we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. So, while we're fresh, we remember what we did on the other side, so we do exactly the same thing for this side. So, at the seam, put some glue, kind of crunch this up, so it looks like flower petal. And then we add another piece of the same side. Bundle this up. Oh, there are already glue in there, so I'm just gonna squeeze this in. So make sure you don't burn yourself. So because the glue gun could be quite hot. And then I'm just gonna take one, two piece of a smaller size. And I'm gonna put it in the center, bundle it, and the hardness of the glue could probably melt the plastic. And then we're gonna do it again into the center. Right? So we have some flower going on so I'm gonna add another small one here to balance it out or you don't have to and I need a drink 
So I'm gonna add another small flower here. Um, I don't want it too symmetrical, so I'm gonna do a medium size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip this. Do one here. So to make the flower smaller, even at the same size, I'm just gonna do a bunch. Do right in. And then crunch the flower right in the center. And then we add a little bit of a glue. Crunch it down. And then we add another size to it. A small size. I think the plastic melt through. Oops, it didn't. So I'm gonna add another layer into it. So it glue on top of each other. If you want to make it interesting, so you can add as many you like. So we do it here. Yep. So, so my plan is to do all around the top uh, like that, right? Two one. So I'm gonna do another big one right on the edge of the shoulder because I think that could add volume because the 80s style are actually coming back. So we want to actually do a big strong woman. If you know about the history of fashion, the 80s is the period what we call revive of um, revive of decadence. Dec so there are a lot of money, there are a lot of exaggeration. So you see thing, and for the first time, the woman is actually going to work and earn the independent. So it's basically a new area aside from after the war that woman able to leave the house. So this is actually the first time in the 80s that woman actually make the same money or beginning to get into uh, high offices uh, of corporate. And the history of that is based on East Saint Laurent who created a woman feminine cut suit for women. So that little fashion history if you were curious or interested. So I'm just gonna glue that in. And I'm gonna do the same size because we need some all the big thing. So if you Turn in, and you wanted to know what type of material this is. It's actually just shopping bag I cut up and reuse. So it could would be durable enough, and it glue gun, so it would be okay if you do hand wash after you wear this. And, ooh, that hot! Add another piece here to. to, to so you have two flowers on both sides, but they don't look exactly the same, which is the whole purpose. And I'm going to add a little bit of this inside here. Yeah, it doesn't need them. Alright, cheer. Alright, so now, who do we have watching? So, hi Brenda, how are you doing? So now, I'm thinking of doing drop a flower all down on the side. So, we're gonna start with a big size. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of them in my hand. And... 
Thank you, Ian. All right. So we have somebody from the stage just text me uh, on Facebook. So I'm just gonna tuck this in. Do that. And then I'm gonna add another piece. So we always try to do the center of the circle, right? So we'll add another one. And then I'm gonna do some on this side. And then you see all the little glue gun that melted over the place. I'm gonna add it here. So this could be some interesting dresses. If you're wondering where can you wear this, you can wear this anywhere. I believe in individual style and the more individual and to you know take everyday life has a celebration so don't be shy and just celebrate what life have to give you do this on the sleeve and basically so far i'm doing all the same sizes of plastic uh, circle and then it eventually is I will add on more as we do this. So the glue gun is hot, so it does melt the plastic and it adds interesting texture or shapes to the flower as we're making them. So basically, if you're curious, I just fold it into the center, drop a little bit of glue gun, and it does. And if you are not too picky, it doesn't have to be a center, right? And then open up that circle and then add another piece. And so you see, I cut this. It doesn't really look like a nice circle, but it's great. It doesn't matter. And tuck it right in. And then I'm gonna do this look one here. And it's important when you do this thing, you leave space in between them, right? So we call this a uh, negative space because negative space is important in design because that give you time to appreciate the positive space. So negative, positive, got it. So you have to have negative to able to appreciate the positive. So in design, it's actually very, very important to have it. And I think because I also teach Tai Chi yoga meditation, it's also very important to have those as well. <clears throat> Cheer. Hi, Paul. How sunny. We have been a very cold. Uh, day today so I hope everybody stay warm and those of you who are in a very warm climate I see some in Asia and then some in Australia and the US Florida so you don't need to tell me how warm it is there <laughs> I actually love in this wine so I'm drinking without telling you what's going on with it and cheer So these are all clue. They kind of stick it over. I'm not sure you can see them online, but hmm. all right. So we have some here. I'm gonna do one more size here, and maybe some on the another sleeve on the front. So I'm gonna do the medium size. On right onto the sleeve, so just crunch this, add this onto the thing, and then fold it in the center. So if you just turn in and you don't know what I'm doing, so this was a, just a T-shirt. I make it into a high fashion piece, and if you don't. So this medium size, add it to 
there. And then you can also go around later to add on more if you want to see a more detail. But right now, all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use small sizes and do the drop, so they slowly go down. But I think it might need another one here. So. I like to have the upper part kind of nice and fill up. So, crunch the flour. So this is actually the biggest size. So when you crunch it, it's become nothing. Add a little bit of glue, put it in, and then crunch it again. So I add a little drop of glue in the center. And then just punch right down. And then you have a flower. See? See, it's not that difficult. Hmm. There, glue gun, everyone. Cheer. So, I should continue to tell you what this wine is about. So, if you. <laughs> I'm loving this wine. So, this is for the second week. The last week is actually bottle was really good too. And last week, bottle was $9.95. And so, it has a nice champagne color to it, it has a beautiful aroma. And it leaves a beautiful, smooth taste afterward, and it's washing down really nicely, so that's really nice. I'm gonna have another flower here. So basically, you just kind of find where you want to add the flower, right? Put it in. So right now, you probably know how to do this, and you can just do your own variation however way you would like. It doesn't have to be perfect because remember you are your own creativity so if you don't tune in and see what internally that you capable of then you would never know your limit right so I'm gonna do so now we're using a smaller piece and I'm just gonna start doing little drop of it everywhere. So ideally, it should be two of the flour for each petal. So, and you can do more. The more of the petal is actually the more interesting. So. Sorry, I'm, my I forgot to set my computer on um, not going to sleep, so I keep have to pressing them, so. Mm. All right. Thank you, Christina. Melissa, oh my goodness. What Melissa saying? It hey, Melissa, I'm watching a film you're doing, but Oh, thank you, Melissa. <laughs> she uh, watching uh, um all the uh, time lapse of my um of my show. So so if you're interested, go to my web um to my page and all the um, all the past episode on there, so you can see them. So I'm still not mastering my um what you call my how all these things work. So I'm kind of learning as I go. This, um, if you believe it or not, is the eight week that we're doing this. And it's been amazing. We have over 5,000 people view the show each week. Uh, Facebook kind of stopped counting after 5,000, so you don't really know what, um, what the actual number is. So um, it started with 200 people, and then it's double triple each week and then within three or four weeks we reach over 5,000 people and then it continue growing each week so now I broadcasted it on many different channels so I suspect that at least 10,000 people watching the show each week 
and thank you very much for everybody tuning in. So I'm just gonna continue to add it and I'm just gonna go all the way down around. So as you know, I just, see, I cut it. And just gonna rip one up. Like I told you, it doesn't have to be perfect. So, bye. In the center, add a little bit of glue gun. Add a little bit more ammunition. And you can add the small pieces in between the big one as well for the top area so it look more fuller and it look more uh, luxury, luxurious. So it kind of melt the plastic. So I'm gonna add another piece to to hide that little problem, which have kind of melt half of the plastic away. But the glue gun is quite hot, and the plastic actually got melt with the glue. Here, are you guys drinking wine? Mm. Alright, so I'm gonna do some here. Ah, so we have a few more common. Brenda! Thank you, Brenda. That's really nice. So, yeah, I've been doing well. Thank you. Add another one. And add. So you can add in the center or you can add it to the size and then just do multiple things. Because nature, if you look at it carefully, if you have a garden or go to a botanical garden or to the park, None of the flower have, they have a natural shape to it, but it's also very individualistic, right? So when you design and create things, you want to follow the law of nature. So the law of nature is then no law. So you can do whatever you want, as long as is end up into a certain shape. And you see that? So this is all, this is the same size but it's two different shapes and two different flowers and I need a drink alright so I think I'm gonna add one more flower on the sleeve and we kind of neglecting the front so we do the awesome power <laughs> I think that would be a little bit too much right so but I do want to do the centerpiece, so I'm gonna glue this down, glue this in, add a few more. So sitting in the center, we're gonna, and that where your glibbage is. So you want to make sure you pay a little bit extra attention to that area because you want to bring the attention. If you're on a date, to a little there, you want to be a little sexy but not too sexy because you don't want to. You know, say, hey, it's free. So nothing is free. Somebody have to work for it. And it's good to make people work for things. Right? So now I'm gonna, oh, I forgot the size. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little small on this size. So you can see me doing sideways, see how it naturally forms. More and see it melts together and you 
kind of just bunch the, the center of the circle and just kind of push it in there. And it does fit with the glue gun and it will stay there. There you go. All right. Cool. So we're gonna add. So we have that on there. So now we're gonna use a smaller sizes for lower area. So I'm gonna do some lower here. And be careful not to put this area when your nipple is, unless you want to do that. Is um, it distracting? So. You want them to actually focus up here, but you want to get the attention when you get into the room. Or, the room I mean, meaning is your dining room or the restaurant. Cheer. So. So you can basically, as you can see, you can do this anywhere you uh, with anything that you have around the house. And this is what originally took from an old t-shirt, right? So this is what one of my t-shirt of my last collection I created uh, before I um, stopped uh, designing. So, um, and it's can believe it almost uh, 12 years ago and I don't really wear this anymore because it's been 12 years and well we got older and our metabolism slowed down and we got a little bit fat <laughs> and which is okay so I'm gonna do so we it looked like it's almost done so can you see the difference? <laughs> so I had my friend told me it was uh, upside down earlier and I, I didn't even know how it actually got upside down but it was upside down. So there you go. So I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. I think it's pretty much good. So I think we do a few more in the back, too quickly. Let's do super fast. Done. Hold in center. Add a drop glue gun. Press something down. Again. Open it. Ooh, got hot. Again. So I do two layer because of the limited time we have uh, for the show. But ideally, you want to make sure you want to do three. So I'm picking up a few more, and make sure you get the center. In again. So there you go. You make it into a fantasy seat dress. How do you like that? I think it's missing. I would do two more here. So I'm gonna use medium small size. In half. In the center. Do some down here. So you notice I avoid to do two asym asym uh, string. Because I don't really like it perfect on both sides. You cannot think and like it actually perfect on both sides. But it always looks better on the other side of the grass, which is not true, but it's perception. So it's good to have a little bit lopsided because that 
is more of how we usually think all the time. Okay, so there you go. I'm gonna tell unveil the wine, but before that, drink up. So, you can have the last glass, J1. <laughs> All right, so when you pour the glass, never put them down and without taking a sip. And I think I'm getting drunk. <clears throat> so, let's open up. So this is what it looked like. And I think I'm quite happy with this because this is what I kind of envision, and it's kind of fun. So it's a fun little dress you can wear this into an RC or just a nice simple home party, right? So I'm gonna unveil the wine. So as I told you earlier, this is. A Chardonnay and Lindemann. See that? So a Chardonnay Lindemann, and it is from Australia, bin number sixty-five. Uh, it's two thousand seventeen. Okay. So what is this about? So the wine is from Australia. The tasting note, and of course we need a little grease as we about this so light yellow gold color floral with citrus vanilla aroma mm. definitely taste the vanilla and the citrus in there and then no berry oh my god I taste berry and they're not berry in this thing all right is red fruit flavor, soft, clean finish. I would rewrite this. I say it was a smooth finish with the flavor explosion in the mouth. Servant suggestion: it grilled shrimp, lemon chicken. Tuna steak, so it definitely would take taste good with um, a lighter uh, food. So it not it actually would also taste good with uh, Thai food, uh, something spicy as well, but not too greasy. Um, let me see what else. It's a Chardonnay. It's a white. It's Australian, and it's six gram up um out of a liter sugar. So, as I say, it's a medium sugar content. And it's a Linda, uh, Lindemann Bin 65 Chardonnay. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the show. And um, so, this is what we did from a t shirt into something kind of a little bit more fancy. Um, you could actually do the color or not do the color, and this thing is still look kind of cool. Um, so this was originally just a black t-shirt and now we add a skirt from the last show. I show you how to do that from the last show and now we add a little more uh, embellishment along and we have something kind of fun and cool. So I hope you enjoyed the show and thank you for very much for all the support. I can believe this like over 5,000 to 10,000 people watching the show from all the different channels. Uh, and if you just turn in and want to see the complete show, it on my uh, Facebook uh, page, Adam Quang, uh, Architecture, Happiness Architecture, or I will post it on adamquang.com by Wednesday so you can see the YouTube video. And thank you very much. And if you want to support me and uh, help me continue doing what I'm doing, you can contribute to us. Uh, um, be my patron for one dollar and the link is in the profile so thank you very much